I'm going to be tying a, a fly called the Dubri. Now the Dubri is a pattern originally tied by Stan Headley, uh, a well-known Scottish angler and author. It's a, a request and uh, I'm going to use the actual dressing from the book and get it as close as possible. Uh, obviously the hook choice uh, basically is up to yourself. I'm using a full and mill hook. This is a, it's just the colour of the fly, being it's a black fly, black and orange. Uh, so I'm going to use the competition heavyweight in black nickel, this one here, uh, as you see it's a size 12. Now you could tie it smaller as well, 14s is a good size. Thread I'm going to be using is the, the uni thread 80 in black. So I've waxed it, I've got the wax on the thread. I'm just going to start it off, come down maybe 3 or 4 mil and then remove the waste. Now I'm going to tie in, this is a fluorescent red wool, you see really bright. Now, when you, the strand itself, there's three strands within it. You, for this fly, I'm only going to use two, so I've removed one from the actual wheel itself. So basically what I've done here is pulled one away. Now you could double up on the piece that you actually took off, and that would give you enough for the, to form the tail. So what we do is, I'm just going to line up the ends, and then I'm going to work my way down. It's easier to do that, and with the wax thread you've got plenty of grip. Now I'm just going to go just to about in line with the barb of the hook, but just as I get there I'm going to come underneath with a turn of thread. This just locks up the tail a wee bit. You're looking for a length, the tail length is basically up to yourself. And from half the length of the body, say for instance, to the full length, it just depends on the style that you like. So I'm going to trim that, and to make it look a wee bit better, I'm going to use small brush. Just roll it out so there. Once you've fished the fly the tail will pull together. But it's a good aiming point for the back. The wire, uh, now you can, in the original dressing a, a silver tinsel as far as I believe, but I'm using the wire, it just protects it a wee bit more. So I'm going to catch this in the length of the body. Do it wax on my thread. Just a couple of turns to hold. And then I've got, this is a I'll show you this. This is the tinsel I get. It's male fly craft now. It's an old gold colour. It's a brassy gold. It's a nice warm colour. Now I'm going to catch this on. Now it's a, I believe is a, a large. So we catch that in. And we just take our time winding the thread up. A nice base of thread down. So the tinsel sits. Now give yourself at the top at least a couple of mil for the both hackles, there's two hackles up the top. And then we bring the tinsel up first. Just touch and turns all the way up. To get this point here, we can catch it in, two or three turns. Now the wire's obviously going to protect the tinsel. Now for the body hackle, it's a cock hackle, this is just a Chinese dyed black cock hackle. Now they're quite short, you don't need many turns. Now I've got it here, it's just the length you're looking, a fibre just slightly longer than the gape of the hook. Now again, just a wee bit of wax on your thread, gives you more grip, especially when you're tying in the hackles. Nice piece of thread there, and then get your hackle pliers. Because it's a short hackle, you need your hackle pliers. Just gonna cut it. Hold it by the tip. Now I like a good turn or so at the top. And then we work my way down. You're only going to get three or so turns down the body. Hold it away from you. And then, <coughs> and then use the wire as we wind up. To secure it in. Once we get to the top, just draw back fibres just now. Just ignore the hackle pliers. Keep the wire tight. Just follow it up with the wire, uh, with the thread, put an ninety degree bend into the wire. Now that locks it in; it doesn't pull back or loosen. So just make sure this is secure. Even if you wind the thread right down to the eye and then bend and break away the wire. Again, just a wee touch of wax, come back up. You can then you can break away, tip. So it's a little, it's a light dressing. Now, these are 
Chinese or Indian hens, any of the two work. This is a hot orange. I'm going to tie it in by the tip. So I'm just going to reveal the tip of the, the feather. Trim it away. Now, so enough that you've got enough to tie in. So the wax is on there to give you the grip. Come in with two or three turns. I'm just going to fold back that small end there so it doesn't pull out. And then hackle pliers. Now the orange you can basically doesn't mention how many turns I don't think. So what I'm going to do is I want the orange to show up so I'll make sure you've got a good two or three turns. It, it just depends on how good the hackle is. The, this is just as I say a cheap Indian, Indian hen. So go up to there that's fine. Two or three turns. Just come in there, nice sharp pair of scissors, trim away, and then what we do is we just tidy up the area for our last tackle, which is a hen dyed black. Now you want a longer fibre, so what I'm going to do here is it's just the same cape, type of cape, it's just been dyed black. So I'm going to tie it in about here. Again, we tie it on by the, the tip of the hackle, trim away the excess, wax your thread so you've got the grip, again catch it in. This time I'm just going to wind towards the eye, make sure there's a base of thread down, and then get back to our hackle pliers. Now you only want one turn, and so we come right round. Single turn, full to this point, just about there, and then we can catch it in. Just make sure it's secure. Again, the wax helps, it sticks, so trim away the hackle, draw back any fibres going forward, and tidy up. Just going to put a nice head down. It's nice and neat, there's a wee fibre there, I'm just going to cover it up with the thread. Just take your time. Keeping the thread tight, we can whip finish. Come in, trim away. And there we are, that's your doobery. Lovely fly, catches a lot of fish. It's one I get asked a lot to tie, so then all we have to do is we touch varnish all the way around. Just don't get the, the varnish onto the feathers. Just take your time. The one coat's enough. The eyes, I can see, is clear, so we don't need to clean it. And there we are. And that's your doobry. I say originally tied Stan Headley and a very popular uh, popular fly in the locks. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and thank you for watching.